Hello everyone and welcome to Patient 1890. This is a little loud. God, I keep forgetting to adjust the sound every time I play a game. It's a uh, survival horror by <coughs> Thomas Robson, made in four days for a sandwich is spoopy jam. So let's just get right into it. Find a way to enable the power. Oh shit, it's so dark. How the But it's dark as fuck. How do I see? I got oh flashlight left right click. I can't open that. Oh, I can't open this. All right. Hello. Oh, there's water. A little wet. Generators, pumps. So this is definitely where the power would be. Hello? Hello? I'm come to turn the power on. Hello? I'm just turning the flashlight on and off. Something happened there. I guess I can't really do anything there. I mean, this is the only way to go. Besides that way. Alright, whatever. No, wait, I came from this way. And I can go this way. It's a little dark. I can make my way through a bit. That's locked. Something happened. This, this point I'm going in a circle. This is the bathroom. That leads back over there. Huh. That leads over there. That's a clock. Jesus, dude. What's with the sound cues here? I guess the only way to do this is just to go in the water. Water sound doesn't help. I gotta do that dramatic sound. I mean, this is where you gotta turn on the power, right? But there's no switch or anything. Well, none I can see. And the water makes so much fucking sound. Jesus Christ. sounds going on here. Can't jump, can't crouch. Oh. I'm an 
idiot. I jumped a little bit there. What the fuck? What the fuck? the key. Flashlight still works. Fucking game. Fuck you. That won't open. I'm looking for the key. Where is the key? Like, I've been looking. Ah, there we go. For information? Search around the office for information. I guess that's not the doctor's office. it was, I would have been able to open the door easily. Ah, over here. Over here! Let's close that door just in case. Let's see. Note. Note. Patient profile 1.8.90. Herbert West. Acute insanity. Severe anxiety, paranoia. Notes frequently states his desire to please a mysterious group he only refers to as them. When referring to these entities, he simply points toward a darkened corner of the room. Nothing is ever there upon investigation. Assumed by doctor to be a mere hallucination, I believe him to be true him to be seeing old ones, a privilege of the mad truly. When I asked him why he refused to take his medication, he simply stated that he has no desire to live in his imperfect form. Imperfect? Hmm. Patient has been under close supervision due to suicidal tendency for some time now. Earlier, after admission to the facility, patient attempted to hurl himself toward from, from a window on the fifth floor of the Howard Building. His reasoning for this was that he was being chased by a hulking sludge of shadows, though no other patient had reportedly observed this. I believe... Believe? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's not the dude's fault. Maybe it's just uh, translation errors or something. I believe this is to be an aspect of Dagon. Khaled. Khaled to this reality by my studies of Necronomicon. Treatment none known to science. We shall soon be taking the patient into the operating room in order to conduct some neurological research, hoping to see how his vision and ailments have affected his brain or psychological and on a physical and chemical level. Is that it? That's it. Those random noises are just gonna keep happening. It's just cued that way. Investigate the operating room. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. That big boy is gonna be coming this way. Operating room. Enter the morgue. 
And I'm in. Okay. Something's bad going to happen. Something's going to jump. Smokey. All right. All right. I'm so good. It didn't affect me as badly as I thought it would. And it's over. Whew. I don't care if it's, what kind of horror game it is. It still gives you fucking chills anyway. That, uh, that was patient 1.8.9. I think that's my birthday. I would assume, I would assume that's birthday. January 8th, 1990. Classified by, uh, dates of birth. Sorry about that. Well then, that was, um, I can see a dude right there at the end of the hallway. That's creepy. And it's moving closer. Or that's just an optical illusion. Either way. That was patient 1.8.90. It was a small, short, little game I decided to do because I don't like horror games and uh, I thought I would get spooked by it, but it was relatively tame for what it was worth. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below if you want to see me play more horror games. And if you do, send me some. Free ones, of course. Indie horror games are fine. Nothing too long, please. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. That thing is creepy as fuck. I'll see you guys whenever I play next. Peace. <sighs>